you're a professional. You've got the good energy. Not everybody gets asked by a band after a show or before. Hey, you want to have a shot with us? You want to have a drink? You want to do this? I, it doesn't happen to everybody. So saying yes to do that. And plus, there's some like bond that isn't talked about if both of you are ready to go down the deep end one night. Yes. And so they can see it in probably maybe you and you can see it in them and it's game on. <laughs> a few too many times that I care to remember. <laughs> Is that right or wrong? Do you think you can kind of feel it from the person without talking about it? Oh, absolutely. Because, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer in the energy that we put out is totally what we attract to us. You know what I'm saying? Be it uh, intimate relationships, uh, you know, be that with a partner or just our cohorts. I mean, who we surround ourselves with is such a sign, you know, like yeah. I always tell people. Yeah, when I when I really dedicated myself to getting sober, uh, the people just went away. They did me a favor. Oh. It was like, oh, wow, that's all this was. This wasn't a friendship. This wasn't the talks of like, yeah, we're gonna start a, a t shirt line or all, all that shit mm -hmm. that when you get to to drinking that just comes and flows out that you know most people forget anyways. You know, so for me, yeah, as a firm believer in that energy that you're putting off. And I think that's the energy I put off. And um, I mean, tell me your opinion, like all the bands you've met is, you know, people have this perception, you know, larger than life. But there's an abundance of insecurities there oftentimes with anybody in that celeb area. There is it. I think it's there is. And that's what has led them to the career there. <laughs> Because they're constantly, and I'm probably probably do the same thing, constantly looking for validation. And even if you're at the top of the mountain, you don't even see it that you're at the top of the mountain. You're like, no, there's a mountain that's way over there and I know I can get to it. And everyone's going to tell me how great I am. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you see it in so many people and it's not a, doesn't mean they're a bad person or it's a bad quality at all. Yeah. It's just people have gone through some mess in their life. Yeah. And as a result of that crap that they went through, it's led them to the place that they're in right this second. Rock star, radio host, comedian, writer, producer, Jason knocking down doors, like uh, all of that. Yeah. Have you, at, through at your time, sought any professional help for any mental health struggles at any oh, point? Oh, yeah, for sure. 1,000% yes. Yeah. What what a, what different areas? Just standard therapy? Have you tried any stuff like EMDR or any? You know, standard therapy. I went in every Monday for nine years in a row. Barely missed, rarely missed a Monday unless I was on a vacation or something. Uh, and then I slowed it down and I started picking it up again recently. <laughs> this is the Knocking Doors Down podcast featuring celebrities, experts and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health and trauma to live purposeful lives, and that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.